Okay, so now I want to talk about finding inputs and outputs of a function from its graph. So what we're looking at here is we're trying to figure out um, what are all the possible inputs or what is the domain and what are all the possible outputs given the graph. So if we just know what it looks like, how can we figure out what are the inputs and what are the outputs? So um, in this graph, to look at all the possible inputs, that's also, we're also talking about the x variable here, and we're also talking about the domain. Um, but when we look at all the possible inputs, what we can do is we can actually just take a horizontal scan. So we're going to take sort of, we're going to move horizontally and we're going to see where do we have our function? Where is our function located? So if we take a horizontal scan, you might say it, there's nothing over here and there's nothing over here. But actually, when I look at this horizontal scan, I'm seeing that I have arrows. And even though we're kind of going up pretty steeply over here, those arrows indicate to me that we're kind of going on forever. So even though it'll be really high up by the time we get there, we're still going on forever over here. So we start, you know, no matter where we start, we're just going on forever, right? We're going on forever over here and we're going on forever over here. So horizontally speaking, we're going all the way along the x-axis. No matter where we go along the x-axis, we're gonna have a graph there with us. So there's, as we go along the horizontal, there's, there's values everywhere we go. There's values at zero, there's values that are positive, there's values that are negative, and there's never a place where anything stops. So in this case, the input is all real numbers or everything from negative infinity to positive infinity. Um, now for the outputs, we're looking at the y variable or the range. So as we look for outputs, we can actually take a vertical scan, meaning we can kind of move our eye vertically. So I guess this, all these dots might be a little bit distracting, but as we move vertically here, um, as we move vertically, where do we have a graph and where don't we have a graph? So if you'll notice, as we move vertically, we have a graph up here, right? We have a graph when y is positive. As we move up, we have a graph here and we have a graph here. Okay, so there's, we're good there. But when we move down, when we take a vertical scan and when we move down, there's nothing over here, right? There's no graph down here. And there's nothing I can do to make this graph go down here. So there's, there's a graph up here, but there's no graph down here. So when I look for outputs, I'm gonna say we have an output that we start at zero, right? And we go up to infinity, but we don't, have any negative numbers. So for our output, we're going to have everything from zero to infinity, including zero, because I do have a point right here at zero, but I don't have anything as we go down, anything negative. So our output or our range would be from zero to infinity. Let's look at another uh, graph here. Okay. So if we look at another graph here, um, and if I want to do the same thing, I can look at this function. So this is a different function, different graph. When I make my horizontal scan to look for all the possible inputs, or again, this is the x or the domain. So as I look for all possible inputs, I'm going to kind of take a horizontal scan and see where is my function. So in this case, I have function values all the way positive, and I have function values all the way negative. Again, this is still going, it's going on forever. Um, so it, it will eventually hit these, even if they're really far down. So I'm again going to have from negative infinity to positive infinity, all the possible inputs. 
And then when I look for outputs, again, we're looking now here at Y or at our range. So we're going to take a vertical scan. So as we look vertically, where do we have values? So I, I have values down here in the negative, but then as I get here, I'm getting closer and closer to zero, but I'm never reaching it and there's nothing up here. So I have everything from negative infinity all the way up to zero. So from negative infinity all the way up to zero, but not including zero because I'm never really getting to zero. I'm just getting closer and closer. So to find the input or the output from a graph, you need to take a horizontal scan for the input or take a vertical scan for the output and see where you have values. And that's where you'll get your input and output.